Well, <clears throat> this is my first um, fire on my, uh, I don't even know what you call these. It, it's, it's part kiln. It's, um, it's uh, I plan on melting metal. I guess that's called a metal refractory, I, I, I believe. Um, I plan on um, melting down copper and, and uh, aluminum and even steel um, in the future. So, multi-versatile. Uh, um, but anyway, yeah, this is my first fire. I believe I've already put the video on, on uh, right after I first made it. And it's been a little bit of time, probably been about a month, month and a half. And I finally got to um, firing it up. Now, uh, these uh, pieces of metal uh, used mainly for a, a uh, I believe it's a, a chimney metal. It's um, it's for custom custom piping, I guess. Um, I just found it at the hardware store and figured I could use it to uh, make the holes to connect uh, the inside where I, I had a cardboard tube meant for like cement posts and stuff. Um, but I used it in reverse. I put it in there and then put the refractory cement around it, filled it up. But I had drilled a hole on one of the sides of it um, before I filled it with the refractory cement. And um, I used this metal down here just to bridge that gap and to keep a hole in there so that it would make a hole in that refractory. And it would set that way. That way I didn't have to go and drill the holes out after. And, um, yeah, I fired this thing up and not not five minutes into it, it started melting that stuff. So I guess I should have known better. But, uh, yeah, that's my first metal that I melted. <laughs> so I had to yank it out. I was considering keeping it in there. I assumed it was high temp. And get that, um, it wasn't going to get that hot because the burner itself was going to be um, sitting in the bottom of it and and uh, when the temperature come up I assumed that that it would work like a uh, um, uh, like a rocket stove you know where the heat would just go up and suck the air in through that hole keeping the metal cool but um, yeah didn't work out that way at any rate right now it's my first fire I'm drying out the refractory cement um, it's on its lowest setting, if I understand this correctly. It's got the least amount of oxygen coming in through the side, so um, it's a pretty soft yellow flame. Um, I do have I do have it turned up to about 25 psi though, ish. Um, so yeah, the heat's really going into it, but this thing's had like a month to sit, so I'm hoping that the concrete ain't gonna. Uh, flash boil and explode on me here but we'll find out um, I did I did make this refractory cement out of uh, a high temp clay which was cone 9 I believe whatever that is and um, I used sand and um, on some of a couple of the pores I even used graphite like the top the, the top the lat one of the last pores and the second to last pour, maybe even the third to last, I used a good amount of graphite in there. Um, it might have even have been my graphene dust, I can't remember, but... So I impregnated that to, to, you know, just to help withstand that heat. The top, though, doesn't have any graphite in it. But, um... I think it's gonna be alright. It should be alright. I almost just destroyed the thing when I, was, when I was trying to move it around and spin the... Um, the inlet inlet port there of the um, of the kiln. I was trying to spin the whole the whole unit around so that I could set this thing up. And um, I had grabbed the center the center of the concrete, and my hand pushed right through the the refractory cement. I mean, it is um, it is aircrete after all. Yeah, that was the other ingredient too, concrete. 
And then I added a bunch of uh, air bubbles to it. Uh, what do you call it? Air foam. I had built an, uh, an air foam generator and uh, impregnated the whole solution with, uh, or a whole mixture with, um, uh, with foam. So, but yeah, uh, um, it does seem to be a pretty good heat uh, heat insulator. Um, the outside of this, this is a metal can, of course, a 55 gallon drum. I think it's a 55 gallon. At any rate, it is a drum, and uh, I don't feel any heat coming through this at all. So, the top is actually cold. This thing's been running now for about 15 minutes, and the top is cold. So, I got the idea from Honeydew Carpenter. Um, I didn't get the mixture idea from them that is of my own design but the whole air creed idea did come from honeydew carpenter it was just a video i seen on youtube this guy honeydew carpenter is his his uh his youtube channel and uh he's actually a pretty smart guy he's uh very in very inventive and um he's made quite a few videos on air creed so i watched him with his experimenting with it and um he sold me on the idea so that was that was the, the way that i went with this so all credit due to the honeydew carpenter thank you mr honeydew carpenter i'm not really sure what your name is um and um hope you don't mind that i used your idea thank you all credit goes to him but um this seem it does seem to be an excellent thermal insulator so i don't know i think i'm gonna let this run for about an hour i'm gonna go watch or maybe even a couple hours i'm gonna go watch a movie with my wife and i'm gonna periodically keep checking on it um the last time i went in there i only went in for about five minutes when i first fight it up i just ran in to grab my phone so i can take this video and i had come back out with my wife to show her and that whole port was on fire um, that metal had actually caught in fire. I've never seen metal catch fire before, which is pretty interesting, but um, I was able to uh, to save it, luckily. So now it's just sitting on straight uh, refractory cement there, or aircrete. But yeah, I mean, this thing is, uh, this thing seems to be totally thermally insulated. I do have those bricks sitting in there. I got three of them. It's just isolating the top from the base so that it can get a, I can give it a good dry because um, I'm going need, to need to do a little bit of um, fabricating to get that to sit on there um, flush. And I'm also going to have to fabricate some, I, something up, some kind of mechanism to uh, make the lid a little easier to take off and put on. Maybe I'll even just stick handles on the sides of it or something. I'm not really sure just yet um, which way I'm going with it. Uh, matter of fact, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. If anybody out there wants to give me your input, I'm completely interested in your suggestions. Just leave some comments. I haven't checked my comments in a while. I imagine when I post this video, I'm going to start going through them. I, uh, I haven't even really been checking my email, so if any of you guys sent me any emails, I apologize if I haven't gotten back to you. I've just been really busy. I just recently retired from the fishing industry, and um, and uh, it's it's been pretty hard for me, you know. Um, I'm a commercial fisherman by trade. I'm sure you can tell from my videos. I've been doing that this this uh, type of work for. I mean, I've been fishing offshore for over 20 years now. I mean. In that 20 years I have taken breaks or taken a winter off here and there or even just a month or two off and just tried to make it on land and you know a land job here or there and but I've always gone back to fishing because you can't make the kind of money on land as you can on offshore it's it ain't even close I mean I'm not gonna get into talking about the figures that I make but it's astronomical compared to what you can make on land especially with no with no uh, experience in any particular trade. Um, I am pretty good at fabricating things though. Um, but um, but yeah, that's probably gonna be the next job I take is some kind of fabrication work. 
but uh, yeah, it's been pretty hard for me, you know. Um, it's a little scary even. Um, so now it's kind of a mad dash for me to take what little savings I have left and try to find a house uh, for pretty short money. So, you know, while I'm doing that, I'm also trying to, um, you know, complete my projects here. <laughs> so it's not easy, you know. So once again, I do apologize for not getting back to anybody. It's just a matter of, um, it's just, you know, just a little bit busy right now. But we, we are going to look at, at some houses on Sunday. I'm hoping to close on a deal and at least get that out of the way and be moved in, hopefully, within the next couple of months. Um, and then I can, you know, maybe it'll take me a good month or so to, uh, you know, unpack and get settled in and um, get my new land job going and, and uh, you know, figure out what time I actually do have off but so in between now and then I'll be chipping away at my projects here and making a video here and there but I won't be able to really go at the videos until until this is uh, completed so please bear with me guys I am here still and um, and um, you know I got some really good ideas I've been writing down on my board um, for future projects or it's for the main project but you know different ideas to, on how to complete that project at any rate i hope all is well um i hope all you in uh youtube land uh had a good christmas and a good new year's and um stay tuned i'll be around i'll see you guys soon